What's up, guys? Laura Whitmer here, owner of Strategic Test Prep, and I am here today to bring you another video in the digital SAT series I've been running to show you guys how to tackle this brand new SAT test. Now, I've listened to you, and a lot of you went in and took that March test and said the math was crazy hard, harder than the practices even. So I've got this awesome hack today to make some of the most challenging math problems on the DSAT easier to work with. And it actually involves using the built-in Desmos calculator, which is really awesome. I can't wait to show you. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by Preply, the fun new digital SAT prep app I created with hundreds of brand new DSAT questions for you to prep from. So guys, if you ran out of questions on Khan Academy, if you ran out of questions on Blue Book exams, this app is amazing. And what I really love about this app is it's a mobile app. So you don't have to be at a computer and you don't have to take a full test in one sitting like you do on Blue Book exams. You can prep when you want, you can prep where you want, and you can just do it in little like tidbits and snippets. So the way the app is designed, it's divided up by type of question so that you can take each drill and master each type of question one at a time. So the type of question I'm gonna go over with you guys today will actually be in the math challenge problems and also the math systems of equations. I plan to add some of these into the app this week and I already added in over 40 brand new questions last week. So I'm just so excited. I hope you guys try out the app if you haven't yet. If you already tried it out, I would say get it again. We've made so many updates. It works so smoothly and there's more questions in there. Uh, definitely go ahead and check that out and download that as soon as you possibly can. All right, so getting into this type of question, what the digital SAT is doing now is they're making the math sections harder because they know you have a calculator for the whole thing. Some questions are fine to use with your TI-84. Other questions are better if you use the Desmos built-in calculator. Okay, so this particular question that I'm on right now is from the Blue Book Exams Practice Test 1. It's the second section, so it's the harder section. And as you can see, we have a system of equations. However, notice that they're not both set equal to y, and one is a quadratic. So this would take a lot of time to rearrange things, move things around, you know, get the quadratic set equal to zero. You have an A value greater than one. It's a kind of a complicated problem. And when you try to use your TI-84, you need your equations set equal to Y. You know, you hit the Y equals button, you type it in. And so this, you can't really enter into your TI-84 quickly and easily. So here's what you can do. You can just hit the calculator up in the corner and you're gonna type in the two equations just as they give them to you, which is amazing. I'm just gonna write in 8X plus Y equals negative 11. And then I'm gonna add, and I'll expand this out in just a second so you guys can really see it, but let me just get them in there. So 2X squared equals Y plus 341. Okay, now I'm gonna expand. Now I'm looking for where they intersect, okay? So I gotta zoom out and actually, you know, potentially go down. Okay, here we are, okay. So as you can see, there's two intersection points. All I had to do was type the equations as, as is, and they gave it to me. So I'm going to go highlight that one. So it looks like there's an intersection point at negative 15, 109. And then there's another one at 11, negative 99. So if we go back to the question, they said, what is one possible value of X? Well, we had an intersection at negative 15 and at 11. So I'm going to just go with negative 15 because that's the answer that they gave. So there you have it. Your Desmos graphing calculator is going to be awesome for things like that when it's not easy to do on the TI-84. It's going to save you so much time, so much work. So when you are working through the Preply app and you're working on a question like this, I would say have desmos.com open because you can access the graphing calculator right from their website and you can just use the graphing calculator if you're on a question like that in Preply. All right, guys, I'll be back again soon with another DSAT video to help you prepare and be your best self on this new test. And until then, happy prepping.